The history of irrigated agriculture in Japan dates back approximately 2,000 years. Rice paddy agriculture developed in the Asian monsoon region due to the perfect natural conditions. The region has a suitable amount of rainfall and high summer temperatures, even with confined areas of land and highly inclined river channels. Up to the Middle Ages, rice paddies were cultivated in areas with access to water, such as springs, ponds, and creeks. Large-scale public works had yet to be introduced. From the 19th century onwards, developments in civil engineering made it possible to create new paddies in regions that had been previously undeveloped. At times, conflicts over water could result in fatal casualties. The development of irrigated agriculture created a disciplined system for water use. In addition, community-based management systems have been developed for maintaining irrigation facilities. This system would go on to form the foundation for the land improvement districts we see today. From the end of the 19th century, Japan began to modernize across various fields. In agriculture and land development, Japan built dams and tunnels, introduced from the West, implementing large-scale irrigation networks. After World War II, Japan fell into a famine. Ensuring food for the nation's citizens became a crucial issue. In 1949, the Land Improvement Act was passed. The passage of this law led to the implementation of land improvement that met farmers' desires for increased profits. In addition, with this land improvement implemented independently, it also became possible to establish land improvement districts to manage agricultural water and facilities. Land improvement districts were comprised of all the farms in a given local region. Following passage of the Land Improvement Act, regions that lacked drainage, sufficient water, or were subject to drought were transformed into thriving agricultural areas thanks to irrigation channels built by national or local governments. For example, the construction of the Aichi Canal transformed previously drought-stricken farmland into a major growing area for vegetables and flowers. Moreover, in 1963, land consolidation projects were organized and implemented nationwide. These areas maintained comprehensive control over everything, from the shape of paddy fields, farm roads, drainage channels, and under drains. This made it possible to introduce large-scale agricultural machinery. Land consolidation improved work efficiency and reduced work hours. This made it possible to move labor out of agriculture and contributed to the country's industrialization. Facilities built by the national or prefectural government are operated and maintained by land improvement districts by transferring facilities or on consignment. Activities of land improvement districts include water management, maintaining and repairing irrigation and drainage systems, managing farm roads, and conserving the environment. The farmers in the district are responsible for all related costs. This is how Japan's farmland developed. The subsequent growth of irrigable land helped contribute to ensuring stable agricultural production. Presently, there are approximately 7,000 dams, weirs, and other such main facilities. The total length of these irrigation and drainage channels spans approximately 47,000 kilometers. Including small channels, this figure grows to some 400,000 kilometers. However, many of these facilities were built during a period of rapid economic growth in the post-war period and are now facing issues due to deterioration. The need for repairs is rapidly growing.
facility obsolescence dealt with using a new method known as stock management. Stock management is a method of maximizing a facility's lifespan by surveying and assessing the facility's conditions and providing systematic repairs. Growing competition in Japanese agriculture is advancing through new projects. First are large-sized paddy fields, while a field lot of farmland consolidation was set at 30R of 100 meters by 30 meters, many regions are now setting this lot at more than 1 hectare of 100 meters by 100 meters. Smart agriculture projects incorporating AI and IT are beginning to use remotely controlled water faucet systems for irrigation. Subterranean irrigation systems are also becoming popular. These systems supply water underground and allow for adjustments of groundwater level. These technologies significantly helped decrease labor required for water management. Over 2,000 years later, the government and farmers have come together to implement a variety of initiatives. Going forward, developments are in progress in order to further improve agriculture. <laughs>